Yes, I am hopping and I have uh, Chad Best plug with me and you know Chad I think the name of that bull is kind of ironic if this week it's called It's Time and it was time and it looked good. Yeah for sure I, I know going into last night I was you know I expect to win from the first night and I, I was thinking things were coming along slowly but I know the way I'm riding if I if I just kept doing my job it would eventually it was gonna pay off and and this is just a stepping stone towards tomorrow. For we as spectators, last night's looked a little scary. How about from your perspective when you kind of got thrown against the side there? Yeah, you know, at that point I was just trying everything I could to stay on, so the fear didn't really set in at that point. I didn't have too much time to think about it. But I mean, were you hurt at all? No. I should have known that. <laughs> all right, uh, t tell me about the trip that this bull had. Was it what you expected? Uh, not really. I saw him a few times this summer and he was out and around to the right. Um, he went left last time and got rode. And and he did the same thing with me and I think I, I just I kind of got lucky and made him look good by almost falling off and some of the other guys bucked off some bulls I didn't think they would so it all worked out for me. $11,000 and never hurts. Yeah that's right but you know I've said it a hundred times uh, it's not about the money I, I want to go buckle tomorrow. Alright and so uh, you know what the job is tomorrow then? Yeah I, I mean I need to go stay on my bull and, and pop, pro, I need, I'm need i going to need to win on him too so that's all I'm thinking about. Alright well. I uh, hope it goes well for you tomorrow. All right, thank you very much.